Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock, including news that New Zealand dollars stabilised overnight at one-year lows. But first, American consumer spending accelerated in August, a positive sign for an economy that appears to be firing on nearly all cylinders. The housing sector remains an exception, however, with separate reports showing Americans signed fewer contracts in August to purchase previously owned homes. These fell more than expected in August, down 1%, pointing to a still shaky housing sector despite last week's surge in new home sales. All major regions experienced declines except for the West, which rose for the fourth consecutive month. In corporate news, Bill Gross quit as the head of PIMCO on Friday. The giant bond fund suffered roughly $10 billion worth of withdrawals following his departure, a sign of how quickly his surprise move is reshaping the bond investing landscape. In Hong Kong, pro-democracy rallies are growing as supporters join protesters in three locations in the city, while riot police pull back after failing to disperse crowds overnight with tear gas and pepper spray. Both police tactics and the impact on their economy are under the spotlight. U.S. Treasury yields fell when Wall Street opened for the week, and the 10-year is now at 2.49%. The oil price is higher today than just under $95 a barrel, although the Brent benchmark is little changed at $97 a barrel. The convergence is closer as the Americans start exporting their surge in oil production. Gold is a little higher, now at $1,217 an ounce. The big news, of course, is what happened to the New Zealand dollar. We start today with our currency little change from where we left it when we went home last night. It is now just over 77.7 US cents, but still over 89 Aussie cents. And the TWI is down to 75.8. At these levels, it is now at a 12-month low, an 11% drop against the US dollar since the end of June, a 7% drop for the TWI. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.